In the mind of Mark DeRosa. All right, so I had to go to my Maldi. Almost went complete game. Let's get in from the mind. Let's take you inside the mind. What I was thinking. Look at the they're break. not healthy and they're still at the top. I know. Of three and a half games. To you, Dero has the pink bat over there, and he always said he used it for his first at bat because he loved it. But then he's a creature of habit, so he switched back to his regular bat. What will the guys do on Sunday for their moms? Lauren, good morning. Sacrifice of your mom, that's for sure. Happy Mother's Day to my mom, Mary Shahadi. Um, it is around this time, and you heard Dero talk about that teams try and find the magic if there isn't magic. Scott Service is trying to do that with Julio Rodriguez. Where will he hit tonight? Right now, Lauren, the expectation. Probably hoping another Luis Castillo walks in <laughs> with his bag over his shoulder at the deadline. They're in Detroit tonight. Now we turn to our league leader segment presented by So Rare. So Rare. The hometown team there in Atlanta to wonder. Who is the MVP in the National League oh right my now? Gosh. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure he Deep breath. We are in this together. We heard Bob Melvin earlier in the show and using the word underperforming, talking about his team a couple mm -hmm. times. He usually doesn't talk like that, so he's a little bit freaked out. What about you? <laughs> I'll put it at above average numbers offensively, I think right of the Braves, but I don't know many teams that could withstand the loss of so many pitchers. They, they, they keep winning for now. Are you freaking out about the future? I am just because, uh, yeah. Anthony, the Braves at the top of the East by a lot. <laughs> Would you relax a little bit? We were talking about Jose Abreu earlier. Like higher, higher standing, I higher it, expectations, I got it, higher freakout. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> He's returning to the south side of Chicago where he was magic. I think that a lot of times we take the first month of the season and we spotlight it, right, if you're starting slow. But if it was in <laughs> July, we wouldn't notice. Is that the case with Jose Abreu? What do you see? One's out there. He's going to have the video tribute. They're going to give him, they love him there. He's going to have all of it. Watching him right now, he, he obviously it's not off to the great the track start. record's too much. That's what, yeah, yeah, you would think. I mean, this guy's, he's in four. He's going to find it. And That's true. Ended up with 26. He's going to find it. Video that the social media team put out of Sandy Alcantara calling him to tell him, hey, you're coming up to the bigs. But he is a, he's a big dude on that map. You, you know what? You, you can't call him a mini anything because he's 6'8". Yeah, he's 6'8". Oh where they grew up, so you're rooting for a guy like this. There's no, what I love is the fact that my buddy Skip Schumacher has got the Marlins starting to roll a Yeah, they're bit. starting to get a little traction here. Winning now, how about the, the scouting games. reports? He's six, eight. Million dollars, gotta get him back in there. I was just laughing because you said Marcus Simeon's a quiet leader. I haven't heard Corey Seager speak ever. Who's talking there? <laughs> It's not Corey Seager. <laughs> I never no. heard him. He's hiding in another Anything. locker room. Let, let's go back to the. You scared me. Okay. So it worked. Yeah, and know. hopefully sometime soon, Jose Altuve will be returning. He is going to be on the. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Bard hits him with a roadside <laughs> arm side run, and I'm getting <laughs> death threats on my tweets. <laughs> yeah. $200 million is where it starts. Yeah. That's where it starts. This dude puts up numbers. Absolutely. He puts up numbers. Julio Rodriguez. Yeah, I was reading the article. Uh, Scott Service talked about he needs to get get on the fastball again. And, and it kind of tripped me to the fact that, you know, rookie in the league last year, I always say this, you want to buy yourself into unthinkable counts. I want to not think anymore. Mean? Like, I want to buy her that I almost feel like he was getting pitched so differently last year and had so much success. He comes into this season and he's getting in counts. He's almost in, sitting too much in between mm -hmm. and struggles a little bit. Get back on the fastball, take a little pressure off. And the beauty of that team is you stick J.P. Crawford in the leadoff spot. 